Hi there and welcome to another video in the Python Snippet series. In this one we're going to take a look at the ordered dict. Now this is a bit of history of Python. Um, until Python 3.6 dictionaries were not ordered so the order of insertion did not matter about um, the order that you actually got data out of the dictionary. In Python 3.1 we saw the addition of the collections.orderedict class and you know that was first proposed in PET 372 and that was created to give dictionaries the ability to actually remember the order of insertion of their keys and values and the order dict is a subclass of the dictionary uh, the normal dictionary class and it iterates over the keys and values in the same order that they were inserted if a new entry overwrites an existing entry the order is maintained but this um, is now changed in Python. So Python 3.6 has revamped the dictionary class, the, the core dictionary class, and it now maintains ordering among other efficiency augmentations. So why do we use the order dictionary? We're going to, the order dict, sorry. Uh, we're going to come to that down here. But I think we should best to get started with an example of what order dict is. So I'm going to import it. It's part of the collections module, ordered dict. And we can create one, let's say ages, and I'm going to copy this by instantiating it. And like a normal dictionary, we can pass keys and values. So John equals 30, and I've got a couple of other names here that I'm going to use. James is 23, and Mark is 41. So if I look at ages, you see we get an ordered dictionary, and it has these keys and values. So that's fine. Um, we can do things we can do with a normal dictionary. We can uh, index in and get the value uh, for John, in this case 30. We can sum up the values because the values are integers. We can look at the ages.values, pass them to the sum method. Uh, similarly, we can get the max of the values, which will give us 41. You can even do this with the keys and it will give you the an alphabetical order. What's the, the last key? So with that in mind, uh, let's have a look at another way to construct an ordered dictionary. Um, this one's going to be bands. And what you can do is to the ordered dict constructor, you can pass a list containing tuples of key value pairs. And in this case, it's each key is represented by the first value in the tuple and the values are the second. Um, so this is John, his favorite bands, Sonic Youth and similarly for James and Mark. So that's another way you can construct an ordered dictionary. And if you look at that, you'll see that you do get an ordered dict back similar to above here. So why would you now use an ordered dictionary when Python has now maintained order of insertion within the normal dictionary? There's a few useful additions to the, the normal dictionary class. We have a pop item function. Now dictionaries themselves have a pop item method. Um, but pop item is basically what it does in a normal dictionary. It removes the last element from the dictionary and returns it. With an ordered dict, we can actually remove the last element or indeed the, the first element. So let's have a demonstration of that quickly just now. So we're looking at the bands list. I'm going to bring that down here. So if I say bands, if we look at bands here and let's pop pop item. And that will pop out the last element, which you can see is Mark um, and Boards of Canada. So if I looked at bands after that operation, we're only left with John and James. On the other hand, if we, we can pass a keyword argument last equals false. And what that will do is remove the first element, which is John. And it will keep James and Mark in that ordered dictionary. So pop item is a bit more flexible with an ordered dict you can pass last equals false and that will remove the element at the very beginning of the ordered dictionary. Um, that's not available on a normal dictionary. Uh, there you only can remove the last element. So that's the pop item. What about move to end? This is another function that's defined. And basically what this does is it can reorder the ordered dictionary uh, keys and it can move certain values to the end or actually to the beginning as well. So if we take an example here. I'm going to copy this again just so we have it. Um, if I look at, if I wanted to move James to the end of this dictionary, I can call the move to end function and I'll pass the key that I want to move to the end of the dictionary. And then if I have a look at bands after that operation, 
you see that John, which was actually at the beginning of that list, um, I, I think I said James earlier, but John in this case was at the beginning, is now at the end. And similarly, if I did do that with James, James is now the element at the end of the dictionary. So the move to end function is, is useful. You can reorder the elements in a dictionary and you can pass last equals false to actually move it to the beginning. So I'm taking James, which was in the middle, and I'm saying move it to the end, but I'm actually passing last equals false, which makes that method become like move to the beginning, essentially. And James moves to the beginning of the ordered dictionary. And we can use that to actually do a pretty cool trick. We can order the dictionary by the values. So what we do is we we take the bat, the key and the value, and we actually we sort the dictionary by the values. So what we do to do that is we pass in bands.items, and the key that we're passing into that is we want to select the i the the value from the items, and that's the second element of the tuple that's returned from the dictionary.items method. First element is the key, second is the value for each one. And if we select out the second element, we index from one, so that will give us the value. And then when we have that, we can call the move to end method on the bands. So bands.move to end will pass the key in. So what this is doing, we sort the bands, we get them in alphabetical order here. Um, and that will be Boards of Canada first, Sonic Youth second, Beatles third. Um, and then what we're doing is we're, we're saying reorder the, the bands dictionary um, and move the the first element we find, which would be the first key we find would be Boards of Canada, move that to the end. And then we do that gradually throughout the array, uh, throughout, the, throughout the dictionary, sorry. And eventually we would get back a sorted representation of that dictionary as so. So you see that they are actually now ordered by the alphabetical order of the values. And we can actually reverse order that. So if we reverse equals true here, we can get the Beatles first, Sonic Youth second, and Bowls of Canada third. So that's quite a cool trick. Um, the reason it works is because sorted um, actually returns, it would take the items sorted by the key that we provide, which in this case is the values reverse equals true. So that gives us a list of tuples, key value pairs, that are in sorted order of the values, but we want to reorder the original dictionary, so we call bands.move to end and pass in the key. So that's a bit of a mouthful, I hope you, you're following that. Um, and that gives us the sorted values in reverse order in this case. Now the final thing about um, ordered dictionaries is that the their quality check is, is slightly different from the normal dictionary. I'm going to demonstrate that here. If I copy this code I've got, um, I create two ordered dictionaries and I have key one and two. Now these are, they, ha they have the same keys and values, but they're in different orders. So the equality check, odict one equals odict two, will now return false. If I reordered that, it would return true because the elements are in the same order. So the ordering is important for the comparison of an ordered dictionary. Without the same order, it's false. Now if I define two dictionaries, normal Python dictionaries, not ordered dictionaries, D1 equals D2. Now they aren't ordered, but they have the same elements. But unlike the ordered dictionary, this will return true because for a normal dictionary, equality is simply, are the keys and values the same in both dictionaries? So that's a slight distinction between a normal dictionary and an ordered dict. If there's any questions or any other thoughts about this, please let me know. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you soon.